Release your brakes. We'd all like to do that, I bet. Recently, I saw the following comment in a weekly report, and this was from a bright guy, and he asked a series of questions. How to position yourself? Who am I? I am a nobody, not serious about the venture. Well, I can almost guarantee you, or in fact, I can guarantee you, that if you think you're a nobody and not serious about a venture, nobody will feel any differently about it. So what's at the core of a statement like that? Well, the number one thing that I've seen that holds people back or propels them to succeed when others think they can't is self-image. And many people look at the secret and think that it's in the next video, book, or heaven forbid, the next podcast. But often that process just leads to a continuing search. There are only four books that I recommend regularly. Your First Hundred Million by Dan Pena. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Most of us have heard of that. Selling to Vito, which a lot of people have not heard of, but Vito is very important top officer. You can get that book on Amazon. I think it's about $15. But it's one that I used successfully when I was building the property tax business. And it is a tremendous resource in how to get to the C-suite people, CEOs, CFOs, how to get through gatekeepers, how to talk in a language effectively with them. I used the techniques in there, which uh, included direct mail, and ended up with about a 25% success rate with direct mail, where normally it's 2 or 3%. But it was highly targeted. It required follow-up phone calls, but it absolutely worked. So I would encourage you to get that book, read it, particularly where you're going to be talking to executives, trying to acquire businesses, et cetera. And then the last book, which is the way I started this podcast, Release Your Breaks by Jim Newman. That's a book that Dan Pena suggested I get years ago. Um, I did. It's all about comfort zone and breaking through and expanding your comfort zone. Uh, It was out of print, hard to find. It was about $300 on eBay. You can get it, the digital version, uh, if you put in Release Your Brakes and PACE, P-A-C-E, through the PACE Industri- Institute, and uh, it's, I think it's about $20. But recently, someone has gotten the rights to it, republished it, and you can find it on Amazon if you just put in Release Your Brakes and Jim Newman. It's got a picture of Jim on the front, and uh, Jim was a mentor for Dan Pena, who is my mentor. And I want to read from the beginning of that book, Uh, It's basically a review by Og Mandino of Success Unlimited. And he said, five stars, a proved system that explains and demonstrates in a fascinating, easy to read manner how to use what you already possess to perform at your maximum. In 20 powerful chapters, you will learn how your self-image acts very much like the setting on a thermostat, how your inner feelings of worth and value as a person have a direct impact on your ability to function effectively, how to use the talents you already have to communicate better with others, how to allow your innate creative abilities to flow more easily, and how to respond to the real pressures of your life in a positive way. You will also be shown the qualities which help you function more effectively and a simple technique for learning how to relax whenever you want to do so. There are two chapters, Constructive Imagination and How to Use Constructive Imagination, which by themselves are worth 50 times the price of this book. Well, sounds like a book that ought to be read. So how do you do and stretch your comfort zone? Well, I would highly recommend you read that book, but also follow the advice of Eleanor Roosevelt, who said, do one thing every day that scares you. For instance, that might be for a lot of people, public speaking. They're absolutely terrified of speaking in public. In fact, most surveys show that, amazingly, people are more afraid of public speaking than death if they try to rank the two. I know it's crazy, but you'll see the surveys show you that. Something like Toastmasters absolutely will cause most people to get out of their comfort zone. And again, I would highly suggest that you read Release Your Breaks. Um, It's a great book. It's a pretty easy read. And the person who, at the beginning of this podcast, I read his comment about who am I and uh, I'm a nobody, 
ended up, when I spoke with him last week, telling me that it was among the best books he has ever read. So that being the case, I would take that as a pretty good testimonial that it's certainly worth reading and would encourage you to do it. But remember that self-image is a very, very common problem. Most people need to work on improving their self-image, and it is absolutely at the core of high performance and high achievement. Okay, so if you have any questions or comments or ideas for future episodes, please email bruce at brucewhipple.com. And if you're not already on our mailing list, head over to brucewhipple.com and sign up and grab any of the free reports. That'll put you on the mailing list. There is a lot of free information you can use to acquire already profitable businesses. This is Bruce Whipple. Thanks for listening to the Business Acquisition Podcast. And remember, you miss 100% of the opportunities you fail to take. And procrastination truly is the thief of time. So do something today, please. Your future self will be proud of you.